Well, there's the delivery driver just gone. And we got a couple of packages. Woohoo! Is someone's excited? Definitely loads of good stuff. Is it good stuff, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's like. Let's have a look. Ooh. Well, very well packaged. Let's have a look. Ooh. Mm. What's it? <laughs> What's it? It's a very big box. Ooh, it is, isn't it? It's quite, quite heavy. And those are very big pieces of foam. What do you reckon? And I think this might be um, the, the, the uh, guide scope, maybe the lenses. Ooh, what's in this big box then? Possibly the telescope. Well, Lottie's found a, a use for the box already. You come for you now. So here it is. Mm. Time to set some gear up there, girls. Yeah! Whoa, are we excited or what? Ooh. First, let's have a look at the telescope. Hello everyone and a very warm welcome and welcome back to the channel. So before I start, I want to throw a little disclaimer out there. I accept no responsibility whatsoever for any image time lost due to bad weather, clouds, whatever. Because of course when we buy new gear, the astral gods come along, don't they? And throw clouds our way for about a month. Always happens. It's guaranteed. So yeah, my bad. And now that's out of the way, let's get on with the video. So... New gear, like I mentioned, I've got the Esprit 100 from Skywatcher. This is by no means any sort of review. It's a scope that's been out quite a while. It's just a bit of interest, you know, a bit of show and tell. And hopefully I'll show you what I've done to set things up and get on the mount, ready for a little adjustment on there and ready for the first light session that will be coming after this video. So first of all, I'll talk about the box quickly. It's quite a robust box, I was quite impressed, but apparently all the, the spray scopes come in these boxes. Filled with these packing balls, I'm gonna call them. Uh, I tell you what, they've got some got some bounce on them. The kids and the dog were going absolutely nuts for them balls. At one stage it was these blue balls flying around the room, I had to sort of nip it in the bud. But yeah, um when the scope was packed in there, it was uh, quite snug in there, it doesn't move, but you're able to get your hand round and lift it out quite easily. So yeah. Quite impressed with that. Uh, things that come with, uh, there's quite a robust finer scope, uh, two inch diagonal. Probably never going to use these things, and if I do, it's going to be very rare. But yeah, they come with that. One thing I did find quite handy, uh, if anyone's getting a scope and they've already got a Canon DSLR camera, it come with a 48mm T ring adapter. So I thought that was quite handy, and I wasn't expecting that to be in the box, but Yep, there you go. Other things that were included that are fitted here, the tube rings. I've got the Luzman, the dovetail bar at the bottom here, which is only five inches. I don't think that's very big. We'll see what happens when I get out in the mount, uh, but it doesn't seem to be much play. Um, lastly, I've got the field flattener. Didn't come with the scope. I bought that separately. It made sense to get that. So that's fitted, ready to go. And that's pretty much it, really. So why the Esprit 100? Well, I've been after an Esprit for a while. Actually, I've been after the 120. However, that is out my price range, and I think it would be for a while. So I saw this come down in price. I thought, you know what? Now's a better time than ever. I'm going to push the button on it. And yeah, here she is. It's definitely a tried and tested scope. I haven't heard any complaints about any Esprit, to be honest. There might be some out there, but I certainly haven't heard of any. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to using it and getting underway and getting an image session under my belt and hopefully many more after that. 
I didn't stop at the Esprit because I was saving a few pennies. I decided to get myself a new guide scope, which is the Evo Guide 50ED, also from Skywatcher. And this was a bundle come with the camera, which is the ASI 120 Mini from ZWO. Now, initially, it come on this green dovetail bar. And when I put it on, the, the whole scope, when I, once I put everything on it, it felt a bit back heavy. So I decided to swap it around a little bit, put my William Optics bar on because it's a bit longer. And that's shifted the scope forward slightly. We'll see when I get on the mount. I, I guarantee I'm going to be tinkering with this for a while. You know, shifting things about until I'm happy. But, you know, for now, it's going to be like this. Other things that I fitted that I already had, but I've just got them on there. So it's good to go. First of all, the autofocuser from ZWO. I've actually got a video on fitting this on my Zenistar 61, uh, which is a rack and pinion scope. So if you're interested, go check that out. Uh, but yeah, it's on there. I've sort of <laughs> blindly focused the scope already. I think it's in roughly the right spot. Of course, won't know until I get on the mount and sort of fine tune that focus. But yeah, that's that. I've got the ASI Air Plus here on the side, all cabled up, ready to go. And on the back, got my 533MC Pro, my one-shot colour cam from ZWO. Now, quickly talk about that with this setup. I did mention in my last video that I was significantly undersampling with the red cart. Not that I was bothered about it. I've been undersampling for a long time. I've been fully aware of it. But with this, it's not. It should be a good match, as far as I'm aware. And we should see some instant improvements in detail. Fingers crossed. There we go. So let's get the observatory opened up and get it on the mount. See how it looks. Well, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> I was a little nervous getting this on the mount there. I'm used to the red cart and ZSR61, of course. In comparison, this is a lot bigger and a lot heavier. Uh, speaking of weight, I did weight before I come out, actually. It's sitting just under 10 kilograms, which is, you know, fine. Uh, it's not that bad at all. This mount can take a lot more than that. So, uh, yeah, all balanced, ready to go. I've, my hunch was right about this sitting too far back and being weighty at the back. I've moved all this forward and I've had to show it slightly up but as you can see i was mentioning about there's not much play pretty much the same size as the top of the mount here so i think i made the right call there other things that have changed for myself another count weight first time i've had to put another count weight on Got to see the weight difference and when i was balancing it i remember to take the lens caps off always forget to do that these things would make a difference here ah it, as lens caps goes a lot heavier than what i'm used to again all the cable management is squared away with my beloved Velcro, of course. I love the stuff as I've mentioned many a time. And it's all nice and tidy. So, yeah, nothing should get snagged. I think it's very important, you know, the cables that are coming off the mountain out of the pier, you don't want them getting snagged on anything. So, yeah, you know, I've, I've tested it. It looks okay to me. Uh, hopefully, it's going to clear up. There was a big dirty cloud. I know, and the observatory I thought, whoa, I'm at tempting fate there. Um, but it seems to have cleared up. Um, and hopefully I'll get to adjust the autofocus in the guide camera tonight. You know, fingers crossed. Might as well get a clear night to do my first image session. Who knows? But she is good to go. So exciting, man. <laughs> well, I think I spoke a little too soon. I was doing a bit of B-roll for the end of this video and it was lovely clear skies. I thought my luck was well in. And then half an hour later, whitewash. Oh, well. Never mind, it'll come eventually, just not tonight. So please look out for the next video, which is going to be the first light with the Esprit 100. Cannot wait, I'm really excited about it. I'd like to say a big thank you to all my current subscribers. You're all awesome. Thank you for your continued support. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give that button a little tickle, please. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Take care, everyone. Please, guys, and until next time, bye for now.